Hello YouTube. <clears throat> my name's Jeff and I built my own CNC machine and uh, I spent a lot of time reading and researching and my machine is by no means perfect. And in fact right now it's just one big giant wiry mess. Uh, stuff everywhere as you can see. Uh, it's still a work in progress but it does work and it will mill things. I mean it made this table um, that my wash or uh, spoil board here. Um, I just want to cover a couple things real quick. I just spent the better part of two days trying to figure out how to get Mach 3 to control my um, spindle. I wanted it to turn on my spindle. Now I've got one of these uh, little eBay jobbies. Uh, it's a Hyung Yang, I think that's how you pronounce it, VFD with spindle. I have the 2.2 uh, kilowatt spindle. It's quiet, it runs nice, uh, you know, I really can't complain. That said, um, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to get this thing to operate properly through the Gecko G540 controller, Mach 3, and this VFD. All I wanted it to do was to be able to uh, turn on the spindle. Engage everything here. I wanted to be able to hit this button and start my spindle. And as you can hear, I'm now finally able to do that. Now, I was able to do that earlier, but the biggest problem I ran into was getting it to be able to change the speed. So, I have figured this out. You'll hear the motor spin up in just a second. Now, one of the common problems, and I haven't answered or figured this out yet, is the spindle speed of 12,000, unfortunately will not match the readout on your VFD. So one of them's wrong. I'm gonna assume it's Mach 3, but who knows. So I just clicked the button to turn off the spindle. I just wanna cover real quickly what I did to get this working. Um, hopefully save somebody some time. So, there's a website called Hammond Designs. I think it's an Australian website, and they have these amazing plans. And I'll put a link in the description that shows exactly what you need to do to set this up. However, after I followed these plans, it didn't work. Uh, it would turn on, the relay would click, and it would turn on the spindle. But the only way I could change the speed was by utilizing the potentiometer on the VFD itself. Uh, the little spin knob. So... That just wasn't working for me. That's not what I wanted. And I, I looked over this and I've posted on the forums and I've read dozens of forum posts where people were having trouble. And there's other ways you can use a USB to RS-485 connector to, to control it a different way. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do it this way. And I believe this worked. So just real quick, if you've bought in the last few years one of these Chinese eBay spindles and VFDs, this will work for you. I'm gonna make it basically real quick here. Uh, you got your power switch, your power switch goes to a relay. Your relay um, connects up. I know this isn't as detailed information as you might have hoped for, but honestly, if you follow these plans, wiring it is extremely simple. I will point out that I skipped this one because I did not want to be able, I didn't care about being able, I'm sorry, not this one, I skipped this one. This relay, I have it, uh, I just didn't wire it because I didn't care about being able to disengage the whole system that way. I also did not install this additional latching e-stop. I have the standard uh, e-stop here that I use for the gecko that runs from pin 10 to 12 to, um, to stop the system if I need it. So I skipped this part. I however did this and everything else. <laughs> Um, basically, if you just follow these plans, it's very simple. If you have any questions, feel free to post them uh, in the comments, and I will do the best I can to answer them. Um, but here's where I ran into some trouble. Everything was working, the relays are working, but what was not working is the ability to change speeds. So one of the first things you want to do is put a voltmeter between pins 7 and 9, which is uh, that guy and that guy, and make sure that after you've gone through the settings in Mach 3 that it is adjusting your voltage very quickly I will show you what you need to do under ports and pins you're gonna to go to motor outputs you're gonna enable your spindle set your step pin if you follow the Hamann directions you're gonna set your step pin to 14 
direct pin one, step port and direct port one and two. You're going to go to your output signals. You're going to engage. I'm not going to use counterclockwise. I only plan to use clockwise. So I didn't care about output two. If you need to do counterclockwise, you'll need to engage that. But um, output one is uh, enabled with port one because you're coming over LPT. As long as you're using the LPT port, it's uh, going to be port one. Pin number is going to be 17. Um, and 17 is actually uh, pin five down here. Okay. Pin 5 is the uh, one that runs to your relay that will actually start it. Uh, you're then going to go to your uh, spindle setup tab. You're going to set, um, again, I'm not using counterclockwise, so I've left both my outputs to number 1. You're going to make sure and check use spindle motor output and PWM control. If you're using the Gecko and all the same equipment, you're going to set your frequency base to 50 and your minimum uh, pulse width modification to 10%. And you would think that's it. And, and actually, if you set that, your spindle will turn on when you press the button, which is just great. However, you won't be able to control the speed. So next, you need to come up here to config and go to your spindle pulleys. Configure pulley number one. Set the minimum and maximum speed to the minimum and maximum speed rated for your pull or your spindle. Um, and the other thing that you need to do is under motor tuning, go to spindle and just move the accelerator and the velocity bars halfway and make sure when you're done that you hit save settings. Um, I don't know if this actually matters. I just I know that I found information all over the web that said that you need you didn't want to leave these set to zero for your spindle. So uh, make sure you've got your, these numbers down here don't matter, but make sure this is two and two. I, again, I don't even think that matters if you have a pulley set, but better safe than sorry. So, again, it still would not work. What got me was finally, and yes, I had read through my VFD manual many times, and to be fair, for a Chinese manual, this, this thing was actually fairly, fairly well worded. Um, you know, it wasn't a lot of the broken English that you see in some of the Chinese manuals. But right here, see this notes, please short circuit two to three foot of J1 terminal when using the board potentiometer, like this. Please short circuit the one to two foot, I think they mean leg, of the J1 terminal when using external connection potentiometer or the external power supply. So even though there's a PD setting in here that lets you determine what's supplying your voltage and your speed, you actually need to come to this jumper right here where it says VI and VR, right there. And you actually need to move that jumper over to the one and two leg as opposed to the two and three leg. That's what finally allowed the machine to start uh, changing speeds based on Mach 3's input. You'll notice the pinouts and the wireouts, your DCM, which is going to be your ground, is going to connect in. Um, basically, you're going to have pins 7, 8, and 9. Uh, your G547 pin is going to go to your DC common, which is the... Um, and, then, uh, and then your uh, G548 pin is going to go to your VFD out, which is actually the VI, if you can see VI right there where it's connected. That goes to your 8 pin, and then your 9 pin connects to your plus 10 volt um, right here. This plus 10 volt is how it's able to measure the frequency to know how fast to spin the spindle. Um, once you've wired up these settings appropriately and moved that jumper, you will then have the ability to activate your spindle, both through G-code and also just from a test perspective. From right here, you can hit your spindle uh, clockwise F5 to turn it on. Uh, if I've engaged my system, there we go. And you should be able to click in your spindle speed here and adjust the speed. Let's put it to max. And you should hear this spin up. Fantastic. Uh, one last note if you get a chance, check out Hamann Designs. You know, when somebody does good work on uh, schematics and diagrams like this, it's always good to give them credit. If you can, especially if you're in Australia, because I think it's an Australian company, um, make sure you buy your parts from there. He has all of these parts available on his website. 
um, that you need to follow this guide. So, and I think that about covers it. If you have any questions, feel free to list those in the comments below. Take care.